Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. See if we can finally meet Araya. in here all right you want me to go that way so obviously I'm going this way first The times change, the people don't. Anything hiding over here? No. Araya, are you here? Hello. thousand times speak to me what more would you have me do is there no prayer that will reach you no mark that will break your bonds ah. I can't help you if you won't speak Whisper is all I ask to guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I. I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. All right. Only because you said please. Mm -hmm. but I'll bet the goal is the same. Get the light back to the source. Don't want you going that way. We don't want you out uh, right. Okay, so we want. Oh, where's the source actually set? Right, it starts over here. This might make things easier. Hmm. 
Okay, there we go. God, this is... You go there, and then you... Did that do it? No. Need to go back to round that way. And then you should be the last piece. Yes. Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ik Orea. Orea. I need you. No, I will not submit. Orea, the demon is. You brought the spirit's voice back. All right, but what the hell is going you on? It. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. You seem to have a history with this voice, this spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so... I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard her voice. A wanderer. Lost, like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe, and she listened with patience, with wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me. Never judged. We kept each other's company. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world, and the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul, cut off from what it needs. Lonely, forsaken.
forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. Mm, I'm not sure I trust this. The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here. Then inside Thunder's drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. She named it the daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. Then she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again, until today. What kept you from the spirit, after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him... I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels, and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was... the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. <laughs> yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a warrock of great hunters to defeat the daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call the daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum is dangerous more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain, and he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. <laughs> huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh, me? Challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Weirak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend, Sekuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratak's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Ah, oh, thank you. A new weapon. God, that was a lot of exposition. No, what are you doing? Ooh. What's that? Survive Shaman's Path of Foundry's Retreat. Nice. Uh. 
Weapons. You're not the one I picked up. The Nook Storm Slinger. Right, let's have a look. Right, for the work. Well, I need to be level 40. Right. Okay. But, but this is still side quests. Make us end. Skills. Oh, yes, I've got skill points. Uh, yeah, let's improve concentration. Okay, these I can't do until I'm level 40, that's fine. I can't remember where that armory, well for the armory was, so what I'm going to do for the rest of this episode, I think, hmm. Just clues to the unknown woman's identity. Who was she? All right, I'll do this one because this doesn't sound like the end game. Doesn't sound very end game, so we'll get this one out of the way. You're up there. Okay, that's cool. So I can open up this area a bit more. And then I'll do some of the... Uh, some more stuff offline, some of the collectibles, and see how I can boost my level up. And then we can come back and do these challenges for the Banuk. I don't trust either this spirit. This must be where Nassan was supposed to check in. Yeah, I trust the spirit about as much as I trust the uh, daemon, which is not at all. Where did it say it was? I completely missed that. Right, that's upgraded fully, can't do any more with that. We're all stocked up on ammo. Maker's end. Not much farther now. Oh, it's gonna take. Said he found an image of the woman I resemble on an ancient device. If she's my mother, why would there be traces of her all the way out here, so far from Noraland? Oh, I don't get it. Who is she? Her name is Elizabeth Sobek. <gasps> you. Spying through my focus again. Well, go on. What do you know about her? Stay on your present course, and before long, you'll know her as well as I do. Maybe better. But be wary. Maker's End is crawling with Eclipse troops. To help you deal with them, I've left some useful equipment just outside the ruins. Your focus will show the location. Interesting. Is he and how does he know these things? He said Elizabeth Sobek. What kind of name is that? 
an ancient one by your standards. But uh, we'll pick this up when I get closer to the area. Uh oh, we found a bandit camp. Suppose we better take this out. As it's technically in our way. Another bloody side quest, Jesus. Shattered kiln, bandit level level 20. Yeah. I can take care of this. I got ya. Oh crap. More rain. My boots will get damp. Oh, sorry. It's, now is not the time to be concerned with your footwear. Anyone else? Where'd you come from anyway? How did I overlook you? No one noticed? Bandit brute. Taking you out, no problem. No guys on top. Easy. Well, this is a, this is a level twenty camp, and I'm level thirty five, so I do have a slight advantage here. Should have brought a cart. Should have done. Oh, there is someone up there. Not anymore. I know I don't have twenty enemies here to deal with, but Still a good idea to make sure your ammo is topped up. I did not see you there. And apparently you didn't see me. Oh, you're you're the big fan with the gun. You can see them; they can't see you. Exactly. Oh, somebody's caught on. Caught, uh, caught on. A glimmer of intelligence from one of these bandits. I can't be having that now. Uh oh. The 
Let's imprison these people. We've set up an alarm. Don't want them to use it. None of that. Don't let the alarm. All right, where's this dude going? Where were you when I was doing my sneaky sneaky? I didn't notice you. I can breathe again. I give up. They're gone. There we go. I thought he said I thought when he said I give up they're gone, he meant he was surrendering. Nah. Uh, she went that way. Heard the machines took down another freehold in the south. All right. I'm going to have to get rid of some stuff. I'm... What can I sell? Uh, trading with merchants, selling for metal shards. Not to sell. Crafting, I'll keep that. Trade, 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 trade. Anything for crafting, I'll keep. Fast travel packs. I don't actually need those because I've got. Uh, hang on. All right, that's that's not the fancy one. That's fine. So that they can go. Right, that's a bunch of stuff sold. Yeah, yeah, that's my fancy one. Not selling that. Well, that should clear up some room. She didn't even hesitate. She stood between the assassin and our son. Yes. But anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. I know this has been pretty much an exposition episode. Those things happen. Sorry. But it's all part of the story. So, thank you for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I'll be sick for later. This has been Horizon Zero Dawn. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.